the GCSE maths with Dr. M, we are going to look at some of equation. The method we're going to use in this question is substitution, right? Let's look at this. Okay, I can make y the subject of my equation. So I can move x to the other side, add x to both sides, and I have y is equal to 3 plus x, right? Then I can substitute this into this equation. So instead of saying y squared is equal to, I can say x squared plus 3 plus x. This is the value of y, which we're squaring. 3 plus x squared is equal to 29. So now I only have one unknown which is x, I can find out what x is equal to and then substitute it back into the equation, this very equa equation here, to find a value of y, right? Now, let's look at it. So first, I need to expand 3 plus x, right? We're going to do the double brackets and we're going to expand them out. So 3 times 3 is 9 plus 3x plus 3x plus x squared, right? So we have x squared plus 9 plus, if I simplify this, that's 6x plus x squared is equal to 29, right? I'm going to add the common terms here as well. So it's 2x squared plus 9 plus 6x is equal to 29, right? In order for me to solve this, I have a quadratic equation. In order for me to solve it, I need the equation to be equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 29 for both sides. So I have 2x squared plus 6x minus 20 is equal to zero, right? Nine minus 29 is equal to minus 20. I'm going to factorize to find a value of x, but before factorizing, I'm going to simplify it because I have all of these, two is a factor to all of these numbers. So I'm going to divide by two and I'm going to get x squared plus three x minus 10 is equal to zero. And now I can use the double brackets to uh, factorize this. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to give me minus 10, add or subtract to give me three. And I'm going to go with 2 and 5. So if I place an x here and an x here, I'm going to do minus 5 and plus 2. Note, if I do that, I do get minus 10, but I'm going to get negative 3, not positive 3. So I'm going to change my signs around. That's going to be plus 5 minus 2. So they multiply to give me minus 10. And 5 minus 2 gives me 3. Works out perfectly. So I have two x values. x could either equal... 5, negative 5, or 2. Remember, this whole equation is equal to 0, so if I want to find a value of x, so basically x plus 5 is equal to 0. x minus 2 is also equal to 0, so that means x is equal to minus 5, and over here x is equal to 2, right? Which is why we always do the inverse of whatever signs is in the bracket, just so you know when that makes sense. So if these are our x values, then y is 3 plus x. So when x is equal to minus 5, y is equal to minus 2. When x is equal to 2, y is equal 